So I'm here to give an overview of the financial regulatory reform bill that's on the verge of passage in Washington. Uh, it'll go back to the House and Senate for a vote very shortly and will be done. So the bill uh, really impacts the entire financial system and economy, but there's a couple major provisions that are much more important, much more important than others. So first, it gives the Federal Reserve and governmental regulators the ability to oversee the entire banking system for its general stability. Uh, to prevent a sort of financial crisis or credit crunch like happened in the fall of 2008. Uh, the second thing is that it gives the federal government the ability to shut down banks and other financial institutions that it considers risky. And so it gives them the authority to come in and basically bankrupt them and sell off the pieces and break them up. And the third major change is that there's a new basically a, a council that will oversee the needs of consumers so that if people are overcharging on mortgages or they're overcharging on debit card transactions, there's a new rulemaking body that can recognize those sorts of things happening and can create rules and stop companies from doing them without having to go back through the legislature to create those changes. Uh, so that should be very good for consumers and a number of other provisions change how banking and financial instruments work in the U.S. economy. There's a bunch of things in this bill that change how average citizens uh, will interact with banks and financial institutions and other financial companies. Additionally, uh, there's all sorts of new restrictions about mortgages, uh, not necessarily about things like the type of, you know, the percentage of the house's value that you need to put down, but about the kind of documentation that you need to show that you can actually pay for your mortgage. And it really cleans up the mortgage lending business. Um, but one big hole in the bill is that it doesn't do the same for people who make car loans uh, if they are car dealers. So car dealers actually got over, like exempted from the oversight of the federal government in this bill, which consumer advocates consider a really, really big carve out, a big loophole. These, uh, these regulations aren't entirely set yet, but there's going to be certain sort of capital requirements and, and other guidelines as to um, what, what banking institutions will, the kind of money that they'll have to keep on hand in order to be considered safe by the government. Uh, there isn't any sort of like blanket statement, you know, if you are X, Y, and Z, then you are systemically risky and will shut you down. Um, it isn't sort of proscriptive in that way. What it instead does is give regulators authorities to kind of take a look at, you know, Bear Stearns or Lehman Brothers um, and sort of stop the issues before it starts.